Hey, how's it going? Nick Ashby from Rockstar Garage. Today I'm here to talk to you about gridlock and what we actually did with this build. We knew we wanted to build something that was kind of different than what you're gonna find on the trail, but still maintained all the characteristics that would make it a Jeep. Body, fenders, flares, all those type of things that are characteristic to a Jeep and not a buggy. So we got this thing done and we took it to Moab. And I remember the first time we took it out, it was insane because we were burning fans and blowing through radiators you know, trying to keep this thing cool because we literally had the stock motor trying to push 46 inch tires. And we got it to the point where this thing was drivable and it was happy. Um, and we ran it that way for about two and a half years in that setup. It did everything we wanted it to do, you know, honestly. We had 100 horse power in this thing, but it went everywhere we wanted it to, did everything we wanted it to do, and it did some obstacles, you know what I mean, that five, 600 horsepower cars just couldn't do. We needed to do something that was gonna step this thing up um, and make it like that next level build. And it, it's one of those things that you're starting to see in the industry with you know, Gladiator V8 swaps and all these things. It was a natural thing for us to do with Gridlock was to move towards a V8. Um, a lot of people use Hemis or use LSs. And while both those are great engines, to us, we wanted something that was gonna be a little bit different than everyone else um, because Gridlock isn't like anything else. We ended up settling on a 4.4 liter supercharged Cadillac motor. Spinning a 46 inch tire usually takes a lot of effort and a lot of force. This thing just rips them. Again, it's because of the obviously factory supercharger, but also the variable valve timing is all dialed and it's just like the power is there. All right, so starting around this thing, we have a 46 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Claw that has been custom grooved to give the tread a little bit more flex. So when we're out there on the rocks, it bites a little bit better. Um, we have a set of forged American Force 20 inch bead locks on this. Wrapped inside those wheels are R1 Concepts brakes. These are the original brakes on this thing, which is pretty cool to say after as much stress and as much pressure as we put on this thing, you have a eight piston front with a six piston rear. It's about one of the biggest brake setups you can get, but you need it, you know, the system like this. Between all that is a set of Yukon gear and axle, OEM axles we had built. So you have a Kingpin 60, which is out of a 1987 Dodge. In the rear, you have an 11 and a half inch AAM rear axle, which is one of the bigger commercial axles you can buy. And we actually drilled out the tube to fit a 38 spline and that has a Grizzly in the rear. We have a 538 gear ratio from Yukon gear and axle as well in this. Inland Empire drive lines. These drive lines are actually pretty technical in this. Um, the front is a jack shaft, so it's a two-piece drive line. You have a PSC um, full steering setup with full hydro. Um, it does have a lot of Artec parts on it as well. Um, Artec high steer arms, their full mount for the front truss and the rear truss, um, and then also the hydraulic ram truss. Johnny joints from Rock Jock um, with all Genrite suspension underneath this thing basically. It has been stretched. People ask the wheelbase on this. 
Your wheelbase on this used to be 96 inches. Now this wheelbase is actually 120 inches. Um, wrapped around this thing, you have 3.0 IBP 16 inch coilovers from King with this. It's pretty insane what these things are. Um, they're literally what you'd run on a trophy truck. That's what gives us our amazing flex. We have a 3 16 mandrel bent replacement frame on this, which is like a race frame from Thorle Down Customs. Full Magnaflow exhaust from, they actually got us the manifolds back for this thing. Um, it's all wrapped in heat shield products. Rockslide Engineering. These are the original steps on this thing. They're three years old. We have beat the hell out of these things and they're still running solid, which is pretty rad. All the Genrite armor on it. We've narrowed the front bumper a little bit. Obviously clearance for tire turning. Took the M12 S winch, which is the military 12,000 pound winch from Warren, which is usually a face mount. And we did um, build a bracket for it. You can see like the W cut into that um, with the FAC 55 hook. You're wrapped in Baja design lights on this. Um, you have the LP6s with the XL80s. And then we have some S2s in the back as well for backup lights. One of the, the coolest things about this build to date is still the bolt liner. Um, it's this special green that we had formulated with them that has not lost its luster, so to say, in three years. You know what I mean? It just, it looks good still to this day, which is pretty rad. Um, it's, it's taken a lot of abuse. You have five different Mishimoto coolers on this. Actually six, sorry. You have two transmission coolers, oil cooler, a supercharger cooler, a radiator, and a hydraulic steering cooler. Obviously k and did a custom billet intake with this thing, which is pretty rad. Um, they actually took this thing in there, measured airflow, saw what this engine needed, and then built it for it. Now getting back to the rear end of this thing, again, you have a Genrite fuel cell with an Aeromotive Phantom 340 fuel pump in this. Power Tank obviously has one of their systems in here. Dometic has a fridge in here. Odyssey batteries, you do have a dual battery set up on this, so if one battery dies, you can switch over the other battery. The nice thing is we also have one battery isolated at all times. So when you're winching, you don't get those surges. We built the roll cage here custom. Um, it does have a four inch chop on the roof as well. It lowers it down. PRP race seats in here that were custom done for us. All the skosh mounts that adorn this thing are very vital to what we do with creating media and the functionality of a power sports setup. The Genrite dash, and then again, we took some files from Genrite, rebuilt them a little bit to make it work in this setup with what we wanted for the center console. Full S-Pod, S-Pod runs everything in here along with the Dakota Digital system we have in this as well. A nine speaker system from Kicker Audio in here. They just, you know, it's clean, it sounds great. You have an Atlas um, twin stick in here. And then you have a 4L60E from Maximum off-road transmissions that is actually running a manual valve body in it. So it's basically just an automatic transmission that we manually shift. With the first weekend we got it done, we were invited to, to attend a thing called American Super Jeep Challenge. And we went out and we entered it and there were some you know, great builds, some great builders there. but we ended up walking home with the championship there. We were supposed to go to Miami, which it got changed and moved to King of the Hammers, which we would have missed Miami because we would have been at King of the Hammers. We ended up going out there, we win the overall championship. So we're builder of the year by American Super Jeep and Motor Trend. And then we go to Winter Jamboree.
was insane because there's obstacles that I would normally never do in this because I didn't have the power to get over it. You know, like once you're up on that spot with 90 horsepower, it doesn't matter how much gear you have, you're not gonna spend 46s the way they need to spend to get hot, to pull you over things. And this thing just does it. Like it's, it's scary because it puts you into situations with power and now you're having to like second guess yourself saying, am I gonna roll this? Am I gonna break something? Am I putting too much force into it? Because that horsepower and torque is now there. Thanks for everything we've gotten on this build with the support of the brands and the partners we have. So again, if you haven't checked it out, it's Gridlock Online, G-R-D-L-O-C, um, or the Rockstar Garage, you can see it ripping up stuff on there too. So appreciate you guys checking this out, and we'll catch you guys on the next build. Ah! <laughs>